Hello all, welcome back. Carrying on with Santa Menace 25 event. And this is the next chapter in the story, Retake Seed Palace. And this is taken from Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. Uh, and the last few uh, chapters will all be taken from Lego games. Uh, I'm actually doing a another Star Wars series. Um, it's Lego Star Wars The Complete Skywalker Saga, so it's going to take levels from both games and fuse them all together to tell the complete story of each film. Well, it's an idea I'm toying with because um, Lego Star Wars, well, the Skywalker Saga does kind of fill in some of the blanks uh, in the hub world, it's the, the bits between the levels. So, I'm going to go through and sort of cherry pick the best bits. Um, maybe not tell all the details, but definitely the main um, points of each story. That would only be from the first six films anyway, because Complete Saga was done before um, Disney took over and released the sequel trilogy. So into Retake Seed Palace, the, we've entered the courtyard, I'm taking on, I'm using Obi-Wan for this level. Um, so clearing out the courtyard of the palace, uh, a lot of that is just deflecting because the droids are all on, um, they're all higher up. It's better to just deflect rather than try and attack. So we're going to switch to R2 to open this door. Back to Obi-Wan. Just set all these up. There's a platform for the Jedi to jump over. There's a... A grapple for the... The Queen and Panaka To... Get across with. Anakin's got the little... Um, grid and R2 can also use the platform. Get rid of these... Destroyer droids. Get everyone to stand on a button, which opens the next door set of doors. Just clear them out and head down the corridor, and we'll get attacked by more droids. That's pretty much what this level is going to be. Move forward and get attacked. Uh, so for this next bit we need to destroy the statue and build the panel so that R2 can then open the door. Which takes us into the next bit of the level. Onto the grounds of the palace. I'd say, again, I'd say courtyard, but where we were at the beginning is kind of the courtyard for the palace. So these are just the, the grounds um, to take down the droids that are on the ground. More coming up. And then there's droids shooting us at us from above. So you can just time you sort of blocks right but they don't always deflect back in the right place there's one we've got one just use one of the characters one of the Jedi to build the stairs and then there's a droid on this ledge and a droid on this ledge Yeah. 
and jump back over and then we're gonna have to cross the bridge so use again use a Jedi character to repair the bridge and then there's yet more droids then run along to the end use a Jedi character to break that crate and then we re reveal a little gate so use switch to Anakin at this point because you need a small um, character switch to Anakin press the button and crawl through the crawl space the same again on this side, R2 is going to come over and help and then stand on the button at the top which then opens the gate over here and then bring Anakin back round back through the crawl spaces and then get everybody through the big gate, switch back it's you can switch to anyone, it doesn't really matter, I just prefer to use the Jedi take down the droids switch to Amidala because this is kind of her mission, her fight so we'll give Amidala some of the glory and she's pretty good to be fair, she, with the way she tucks and rolls um, she's not a bad character to play as, there are some some pointless characters really, like if you when you play through episode 2 you un uh, episode 3 even you unlock Chancellor Palpatine but he doesn't do anything he doesn't have an ability, he doesn't do anything he's a bit of a pointless character to use um, So yeah, there are some pointless characters. You've got Gungan characters, or you've got characters like Jar Jar that can... Uh, oh, qui has got a bit stuck. So you use... Ju jump on one of these crates with one of the Jedi, and then you'll both use the Force to help each other up. And across... And I can all come up through that crawl space. Get them all to stand on a button. And into the palace. And again, more droids to fight. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, you'll get characters like Jar Jar that are good for jumping, and that's about it. They can they can slap, they can they can beat up droids, but they're mainly useful for they can jump higher than most characters. Um, the Magna Guard is the same and General Grievous does a big jump as well but obviously Grievous has lightsabers so he's multi-purpose um, but there are some characters I'll use all the time characters that I barely touch um, purely because they're good for just the one thing so into the last part now of the level and we're gonna free some Naboo pilots There's six pilots to rescue, so we'll start at this end. So I always forget to come to this far end, I usually just rescue the ones close by, and I always forget, I always have to come back this way because I forget that there's one at this far end. So we'll get him first. Just the one, get the droid. and then the rest are all over this way jump up 
and run along the door frame, run along the ledge, drop down, and there is the next pilot. So that's two pilots saved. For some reason it's two to a ship, but they can only be manned by their, their single seat fighters. So I'm not entirely sure why you, why it's two two to a ship. To get rid of these droids. So there's two pilots just there. So get them rescued. And then the last two are up here. So again, use the Jedi to lift each other up. Let's get rid of that droid. That's all, those are the last two pilots, which then reveals a panel. Um, so we'll switch to R2, and that panel then opens the hangar door, so that the pilots can shoot off into space. And that is the end of this chapter. I will see you in the next chapter, where the Jedi fight Darth Maul. So thanks for watching, see you in the next one.